Selena says that she can no longer sleep in her bedroom. She opens up about all things anxiety. Let's talk about it. Selena says, I'm a very anxious person. It's kind of like doomsday. And I think having a positive conversation with yourself, even if that sounds weird, it's really impactful. Like before I step out of the car and there's going to be a lot of noises and stuff, if that's the case, I'm not saying that every day, but I have to breathe and I have to say all of this is a gift. And I may not be in the mood for this, but every time I see someone and end up making them smile, it always just makes my day no matter how I'm feeling. She goes on to say, I actually released a documentary, My Mind and Me, noting that the film project shed light on her struggles with psychosis and bipolar depression. Quote, I'm a little bit of a different, I'm a little bit different than my mom because I spend too much time in my bedroom that I actually don't even sleep in my bedroom anymore because I associate it with such a really dark time. <sighs> Oh my God, relatable queen, okay? Being anxious is so debilitating sometimes. And yeah, I don't want to leave my bed for years. Um, and part of it was I wasn't doing the work. And you have to believe in yourself to do the work that will truly enlighten you a little bit. Um, she also says, I try my hardest to take these social media breaks, but equally, I've had to stop trying to defend myself. Amen, sister. Because I should not be apologetic for being honest. Absolutely not, girl. Absolutely the fuck not. You don't have to be for saying I'm not good. And you, and that's not nice what you said. She's, girl, what? Hang on. Girl, my dyslexia is dyslexia. Um, trying to defend myself because I should not be apologetic for being honest. For saying I'm not good. And that's not nice what you said. She started. You know, my mom has always taught me that the noise is going to be there constantly. But it's about finding that moment where I actually physically say, no, I am a good person. I'm kind. I work really hard and I'm grateful. And I love all the little things in life. And I need the re that reminder I'm not going to lie. It kind of hurts. I'm definitely not one of the people who can kind of ignore it. It's just to, I'm just speaking on my generation's behalf because it's wild how inhumane people can be with their words and things they would probably never say in person either. It just hurts. Listen, girl, while others are just using their social media platforms to, to you know, promote their products, Ms. Gomez is using it to change the world. And that is who we should stand. Selena, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being the relatable queen that you are, girl. I love you all so much. And if you want more Selena updates, make sure to follow.